I've been in 14 county jails and pretrial institutions in my life. So let's talk about it. Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Shout out to all the law abiding criminals out there. As always, you know what to do. This is your first time on the channel and you wanna hear more prison stories and learn what it's like doing time inside prison. Go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss anything. So before I even start this video, let me go ahead and just be very crystal clear. I am in no way bragging. I am in no way proud of this. It is actually a very sad thing for a man. I'm only 39 years old. I'll be 40 next year in March, but I've been to 14 county jails. And this video, what I'm gonna do, I had to make a little list here because literally I've been to so many that sometimes I forget them. And I had to sit down and analyze my whole entire life all the way from juvenile up through adult and remember every single one that I've been to. So I've got the list. You're going to see me referring to this if you see me looking down or whatever. But yeah, man, 14 jails. And it's uh, that's not even the prisons. This is just the jails. So guys, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go down this list. They're in no particular order. I will start off with the juvenile first because what is she doing? Oh, she sees somebody in the front yard. Anyway, uh, I will start off with the juvenile first because it's only been one pretrial or what you would call the county jail down here in Georgia. We call it an RYDC. So we're going to start off with that. The RYDC that I was in was Claxton. Now that is Claxton, Georgia, obviously. That's the name of the city. They call it the Regional Youth Detention Center. And it's where you go until you get sentenced. And then you go off to either a boot camp or a YDC, which is a youth development center. It's not the regional like the county jail. But I went there, I think two or maybe three times as a juvenile. Might have been three times. Either way, it was a pretty much an all-day lockdown situation. They make you go to school and stuff like that. That was my one pretrial facility as a juvenile. And so now we're going to get into the adult. And I'm just going to go down this list, man. Toombs County Jail, which is located in Lyons, Georgia. Horrible freaking jail. It's got like five cell blocks and it's open. It's got the little wire mesh stuff you can actually stick your hands through. And so all of the cell blocks are open to each other. So all of the noise, all of the banging, everything is always available to everybody in there because it's open air. You can scream from one to the other, man. You hardly can sleep in this place and it's just horrible. Appling County Jail, which is in Baxley, Georgia. I was only there for a few hours. This is whenever I got busted on one of my arrests for my Fed case and I stayed in the holding cell there because that's where I got caught at until they took me back to my jail where I was from. Emanuel County Jail, which is located in Swainsboro, Georgia. This was actually a pretty decent facility. They had an old jail and I had been in the old jail too, which is grungy and kind of like a dungeon, but then they built a new part because I've been there twice and they feed pretty well. The commissary is pretty affordable. It's nice and clean. So it was pretty decent. Now I'm getting into this next one, which is Bullock County Jail, which is in Statesboro, Georgia. It's a toss up between Tombs and Bullock County Jail, which is crazy because I've been in Chatham County, which is Savannah, and I've also been up in Charleston County. You would think I've also been in Atlanta and you would think that those big city jails would be the worst ones. But it's a toss up between Tombs County and Bullock County for the absolute worst jails that I've ever been in. Tombs County for the aforementioned reasons that I said, but Bullock County because they only fed twice a day, man. And there was like 12 hours in between meals. Every morning you would get grits and when you would get your grits, you could pick them up like this and shake them because they were one piece cold, stuck together. You were starving. They wouldn't allow you to have books. You couldn't get magazines. All you could have was like a religious book, like a Bible or something. And the whole jail, because Statesboro is a town where Georgia Southern University is, the jail is staffed with a bunch of punk ass little young college student white boy bitches who think that they're tough. They will tase you at a moment's notice. They've got this thing called the motorcycle. It's just a chair, a restraint chair that they put you in. They'll wheel your ass out onto the rec yard and leave you there for hours where you piss and shit on yourself. It's just a bad, bad place to be. Jefferson County Jail, which is in Louisville, Georgia. This is where I went to after Bullock County because the marshals, they are what who has jurisdiction over you whenever you're in pretrial. Forgive that tractor going by, probably noisy. But you know, the marshals are who come and shuttle you from the county jails to the federal courthouse and everything. And they knew, excuse me, they knew how bad it was at Bullock County Jail. And so at some point they asked me, did I want to transfer and go to Louisville, which was a little bit further away from home, but 
it was way way better man the commissary was better they fed you three meals a day the food was decent and it was just overall a better situation chatham county jail which i like i said before is savannah georgia you would think it would be horrible because savannah's a pretty violent place man there's a lot of murdering going on and stuff down there and i know in the back i never made it to the back in what they called the jungle you get randomly placed in this place. Well, luckily I was in one of the blocks up front, which was the new jail. And I was only there for like, I think four days, maybe five days before I ended up making bail. But still back there in the jungle where they've got like the cells and everything, the old part of the jail, which I don't even know for sure if it's still open. I heard that it can be pretty rough. Things get racial and shit back there. There's a lot of stealing and stuff going on. Uh, ACDC, which stands for Atlanta City Detention Center. I went there. I was on the sixth floor. I think it was the sixth floor, which is where they house out the feds. That was actually pretty good. I don't know if the whole jail is like that, but I know the sixth floor or whatever floor it was that the feds were on was pretty sweet, man. They had a little library in the unit. I think they had board games. It was nice. And if you got up on top of your bunk, when I looked out my window, I could see the south side of Atlanta. So I could see Turner Field where the Braves play. It was okay. SFRDC, which just stands for South Fulton Regional Detention Center, which is in Union City. Now, this place was, eh, it was a whole lot of Hispanics in this jail. I can't really say, you know, whether it was good or bad. I was there for maybe a week or two. I don't have a whole lot of memory of it because this is when I first got busted by the feds. So I just kind of spent a lot of time in a daze um, recovering from being busted and snatched off the streets and everything. And eventually the feds came and got me and I flew from Atlanta down to Jacksonville and they transported me back to my district, which is the Southern District of Georgia. Um, we have McIntosh County, which is actually when I left South Fulton Regional Detention, that's where I went to. They flew me from Atlanta to Jacksonville and from Jacksonville, we went up 95 and this is in Darien, Georgia. It's McIntosh County Jail. That jail was pretty bad. That jail it wasn't as bad as Bullock and Tombs, but it was the jail where I've had some of the stories on my channel about the guy getting jumped, the white boy who fought like 15 dudes and all that stuff. There was a whole lot of fighting going on. I was in the biggest block and the most violent block there, but I'm minding my business. I didn't get into anything, but it was still, you know, kind of bad. Charleston County Jail, obviously Charleston, South Carolina. This is another huge jail like Chatham County. They've actually recently added, I think, two towers to this jail it's pretty bad uh, if anybody's from Charleston County you know about the south side and the north side which is the old part of the jail when you come into this jail it's like a real big city jail you stay in these bullpens which is known as south side north side and they're shitty dude the showers are so hot you can't even hardly use them they'll be shit and piss in the floor because the community toilets overflow and there's a big bullpen area where you've got open bunks but then there's like some cells down the side over there and there's probably I, th I think there's either six or four men to one of those cells pretty violent but then you finally get back up to the new part of the jail and it's a little bit better still violent and everything a lot of stuff happens stealing and crap like that overall eh, about a medium place to be Greenville County Jail which obviously is in Greenville South Carolina another humongous jail when I first got arrested there, that was whenever I had escaped from Georgia, which was Candler County, which I'm going to get to here in a second. When I first got arrested in Greenville, they put me straight into what they call Red Pod, which is in the new part of the jail, but it's a 24 hour a day lockdown. This is the place where they actually have you in belly chains whenever you shower. They let one hand be free, one hand still cuffed to you. It sucked. You couldn't have anything in the cell, get a little flexible pen with which to write your letters, but you can only write letters, I think, twice a week. So it was uh, not a good situation. I stayed in Red Pod for about a month and then they cleared me to go to population and I went across the way. I don't know if it's a street or something, but you walk across this like catwalk thing and I went to the older part of the jail. I think I was in L block over there and it was pretty decent. I used to stay up all night with some of the cats in there and we would play cards or whatever and then I'd sleep all day, eat. Not too bad, man. Lawrence County Jail, which is in Lawrence, South Carolina same area as Greenville. This is where I went from Greenville County. They transferred me over to Lawrence. Lawrence was okay. It was, there was a lot of shit going on in there too. Like I remember one time these guys up top got locked down in the bullpen area and they dumped a bucket of mop water with piss in it on some dudes below them. 
Uh, this was also where I saw a guy barricade himself, a guy they call Big Shaq. I'm actually going to do a video about him. He used to eat shit and rub it all in his beard. It was disgusting. But either way, uh, the jail itself was kind of new. It wasn't too bad. This is where I actually got sentenced to my Wild Way 1 to 6 in South Carolina. Candler County Jail, which is Metter, Georgia. This was the jail that I escaped from. Probably the best one that I've ever been to just because when they put you in there, they don't bother you. It's like nobody ever comes back there. You, you eat from a restaurant. It's, it's got three pods, two for the men, one for the women. They feed you with a contract from a restaurant. Like I said, uh, the trustee there is responsible for like running a little commissary. So you can pretty much tell them whatever you want. When I was there, the trustees actually got to drive some of the county vehicles if they had a license and they could go uptown and stuff. You can wear like your street clothes in this jail. It was pretty good. You, uh, you could just sleep all day. You pretty much do anything that you wanted to do because they never came back there. There wasn't no such thing as count time and which actually facilitated us being able to escape from this place. And so, like I said before, man, that's 14 county jails that I've been to, which is insane for somebody my age to have went through. That is not prisons. That is just the county jails. I'm gonna do a subsequent video to this, a part two of all the actual institutions that I've been to and sentenced to. I don't think it's this many, but still crazy, man. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, man. Just to be sure, we're gonna recap it. Toombs, Claxton, Appling, Emmanuel, Bullock, Jefferson, Chatham, ACDC, SFRDC, McIntosh, Charleston, Greenville, Lawrence, and Candler. A crazy, crazy journey and a crazy ride, man. I am so happy six years. I've never been out this long in my life. You guys know this if you've been watching me for any amount of time. It's an absolute record for me. I usually get out and within the year, I am right back in to some shit, man. It's been a long journey, but now I'm here, man. You know, I'm married, been with the same girl forever kids you know i just i'm living life and i'm loving life and i'm so happy that i put all this bullshit behind me man so there it is guys i hope you enjoyed this content until next time